my boss wanted to know who I was speaking to. So I'm just taking a picture. Why are you filming me? Why are you filming me? Why are you filming me? I didn't give you permission. You don't understand English? Literally, I can just see, I can just see his eyes. He's standing in front of me. Yeah, he's calling the police on me and the other guy in the cowboy hat. <laughs> Wanna walk that way? A bulk barn. Get your splices. Walk by guys. They are waving. Very friendly it seems. That's awesome. Oh, we got the sun in the background again. Yeah, that's unfortunate, eh? No, I like that that view, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Canada flag right out there. Places are all over. They are all over the place. You don't believe me? There's another one. Medicine wheel. Hope everybody's doing well today. Again, we're just giving you guys a tour of the neighborhood. You guys won't have to walk down and see what stores are here yourselves. Just kind of see the vibe of the neighborhood, the environment. Hopefully we uh, meet some people. Every day I got a goal. I'll try to make somebody's day a little bit better, right? Try to make somebody, even one person. A little smile, a little compliment advice anything like that let's try to make somebody's day a little bit better it's a win right here we've got some one dollar books if anybody's interested don't get cheaper than that I love reading. It's one thing that I can't get enough of is reading. It's just it's difficult with time, right? You gotta find the time, make it happen. Mississaugas of the Credit. Medicine Wheel. Crazy, it's almost like a trip reading these signs, considering where it was not too long ago. People were actually getting locked up for the exact same thing. How are you, sir? Good, Good thank you.
New North Transparency Zone here. Just getting some footage, guys. Weather's starting to get a little bit better. Come out here and give you guys tours of Toronto and the outskirts. Hopefully it's something that you guys enjoy. Cannabis. Stoked cannabis. Wonder how much theirs are compared to these guys. Stretch my legs out. on Kingston Road, ladies and gentlemen. Do not block the driveway. Our porter potties right on Kingston. Say a word to me, sir. You never said a word I to me. I'm right working. I walked right by you. you sir, the street. I'm working. You're working. Yes. Okay. To do what? Exactly what it looks like. Filming me. Filming the area. You have to be. You're not filming the area so far. All you've done is film Medicine Wheel and the store that I came out of. You walked down here, followed me, and now you're standing here in front of me. That's what you're assuming because you That's just walked out of the store. You haven't seen where we came from or where we're going. Why don't right you? Right now, why are you? Why? Why? Let me suggest something to you, please. I no. Turn the camera around. You're me. wearing a company hat, acting turn, like this. Turn the camera around. Request denied. Request denied. All right, then, good, then have a good day. Then. All right, maybe I'll talk to your boss about how you act with the community. He's calling the police because we're filming, promoting businesses. Unreal. 
Meinung. Ja. Ladies and Gentlemen, Stoked is not on the list. Any more places to purchase anything. calling the police on me and the other guy in the cowboy hat. <laughs> oh, he's back. <laughs> there you go, exercise your freedom. Thank there you, you go, man. brother. We have to call that the camera. Right on. Get your pictures, man. Fine. I'm, my boss wanted to know who I was speaking to. So I'm just taking a picture of the two who have not explained why you're in the country. Film in the area, brother. Okay. Doing a tour. What's that? Uh, the businesses life are important. Life as it happens. Are you the Are you the you owner? Know if you run into something important. Are you the owner here? <laughs> it's a really good angle to hold your camera, guys. It is. It works really, really well. I've tried it a bunch of times. My gimbal doesn't go upside down, but I love that holding the camera upside down. Good. Yeah, how are you doing? Good. Good. Uh oh. She just introduced themselves. What's that? What's going on? How are you? What's going on? How are you doing? Okay, but what's going on? Taking pictures, videos, actually. Or anything in particular? Yeah, we're just filming the neighborhood, doing a tour, kind of showing the uh, neighborhood on video. Okay. Just uh, hoping that we have friendly oh. businesses around here that <laughs> are going to promote themselves rather than act how your neighbor acted. Oh, you guys are working over there? No, no, no we're no. just doing the whole neighborhood, but he came out just acting. He's, he's a little uh, annoyed here. No, no, this guy, he's, uh, yeah. You yeah. gotta smoke better weed, I think. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, man. He's, uh, yeah, ever since he came in, I don't know if he thinks he's like, at some upper tier of. Yeah. But we've, everyone else has been here long. Yeah. He is one yeah, of the newer yeah. tenants and everything else. But I used right? to actually. Dennis? Dennis? Yeah. Rick. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, gee. I used yeah. to own a, a store, a tattoo shop at 2342. Uh, right? I used to be at 2456, but oh. here, the, the, the old lady who owns it isn't here. Yeah. But basically, yeah, I've been here for a while. I was actually shipping to that corner one, but that one is like a new landlord that kind of, I think, I think oh, created, created the extra drama of putting the extra cannabis store, right? What you're doing is amazing for yeah. your business. Yeah. I mean, it's, we're gonna. I do the hair in the back, but I haven't advertised that. It's like kind of, yeah. sort of one of the, yeah. Just but just, the, just the way that you're communicating with the public rather yeah. than uh, yeah, thinking so it's something negative, negative, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
gonna get you guys business. Yeah, because I've been on this trip for 20 years, so it's oh, like, wow. yeah, so good. It's annoying a lot of the businesses around. It's one of those, like, even if a new business comes, I like to welcome it. Yeah. Like, rather than the opposite, you know, like that's how it should be. Yeah. We're all we're all the people of the community, right? Because yeah. you want like good, good energy at the end of the day. That's, that's the it, thing. brother. Yeah. A lot of the stuff that we do, it ties into freedom of press as well. Just yeah. getting people uh, comfortable with citizens filming as well as the cameras that are on us. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't mind cameras, but as soon as this happens, it's a problem. So, I mean, you know, yeah. if we were CBC, people would have no issues. We could stand in front of you, we could point our cameras right in yeah. your business. But normally, and then, and then it's like, we're just too bad. You know what's funny you say that? I like, because when he was doing something, he didn't realize the camera was. None of us really said anything, but he didn't give any business advice. This one? Yeah. yeah. So, but Cliffside, Genevieve over there, she's great. That she's like, she was her brother has a TV show that does rebuilding, so she doing something. Oh, he calls the crazy story. I'm like, I'm really cool. This is the same thing. Man. <laughs> yeah, we're all trying to like just get through the day and everything else. Right? You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That's it. Okay, good. You know what? No, yeah, yeah. Oh, I appreciate the yeah, way no you come problem, out. Right? You guys are gonna be here a long time. Yeah, yeah. I promise you. When they, right. If they continue to act like that. They're not gonna get the support. Okay, cool, man. You know what I mean, this yeah, is where they, you can check it out, brother. Yeah, Canada Cop Watch. Okay, cool. Feel free to check the video no out. You, you guys will be highlighted in a positive. Okay. Uh, and Thanks, you'll man. find my channel on his page. I'm, okay. Tor I'm, uh, I'm Toronto. True North Transparency. <laughs> awesome. Right on. Okay. Man. Thanks, guys. You have a great day, sir. Thank you. like you're like uh you guys are youtubers you guys are like just youtubers that's it buddy. adventurous type people yeah. uh exercising our rights yeah cool Ex De defending for, defending your right to the freedom of the press is what we do oh good okay. yeah we film police uh, we do government offices and days where we just want to hang out and have fun we go and walk down the sidewalk and, and go place to place sometimes people don't appreciate it all that much but yeah. It's, it's my right to do it, right? You know, and uh, 100 percent it's your right. To do that's it, it, and we're just defending that because there is a huge attack on the freedom of press in this country. Huge. You, you know, you've seen it. Uh, David Menzies and uh, Christian Freeland's bodyguard there. I filmed uh, the one that the RCMP officer that that jumped in front of him and said he was assaulting a police officer. Right, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. That sort of stuff. It's it's happening all the time. Thank you. 
I appreciate you stopping and, and figuring out for yourself what's going on before uh, assuming something. Like we just had an interaction with the guy at Stoked. Yeah. Pretty sure he called police. Police are going to be showing up here soon. Oh no, he didn't. Yeah. He didn't. I'll tell you why. Because I'm Brian. I own it. Oh, you own Stoke. Yeah, I Good, own Good, Brian. Stoke. Good. Okay. Yeah, so, so yeah, yeah, one of the guys came out. He was pretty bothered by the camera. Well, we've had some problems because we have a competitor that opened up, and unfortunately, There's we've so had many. to There's make two uh, more. Two more right here, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're well, all. We're more worried about that one because it's not licensed by the Ontario Gaming uh, uh, yeah. and Alcohol. Oh, the medicine wheel. Yeah, the medicine wheel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's that? We, the sovereign one. We actually. Yeah, well, uh, I mean, it's not that sovereign, right? Because, uh, you know, it's. Um, in 2010, Treaty 13 was all ratified and settled for 145 million to 1,700 band members. Yeah. So you know, it's it's um, you know, it's not not that cut and dry. You know, if uh, you know, in, t in today's world, for uh, playing field as far as fairness goes, right? And for you know, inclusion and taxation and everything like that, you know, it's a very important thing. You know, you can't uh, you can't have a a society that treats two different groups of people differently. Right. Right. Multiples. There's right. a whole bunch of that happening. Yeah, 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 yeah. There is. There's a lot of. It. You know, there, there's religion factions. Unfortunately, um, you know, there's uh, there's all kinds of issues. You yeah. Know, made of folk, of course, they should have you know the support that they should have coming from rural areas and such like that, and, and make sure that their culture is preserved and. All those types of things. Yeah. At the end of the day, though, the uh, onus falls on them. Yeah. I'm native from the Yukon. I'm oh, from the Yukon, yeah. yeah man, so we, yeah. we're self governing We don't subscribe to all this horseshit that they got going on. Well, uh, my, my grandmother was Mi'kmaq. She unfortunately died in the Halifax fire. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, but uh, I don't know. Horseshit, well, that's a matter. You know, it's, it's that or anarchy. You look at what's going on in Argentina right now. Yeah. It ain't pretty. Yeah. Venezuela, it ain't pretty. Yeah. You know, when you get uh, totalitarian governments, dictatorships, right? Yeah. Like Trump, these type of people, you know, like, you know, it, it's awful. It's absolutely terrible. Yeah. Brian, I appreciate you coming out because, to be honest with you, I'm a client from the uh, St. Clair location. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that yeah. guy just lost me. You, you got me back. Well, I'm sorry about that. You know what? Have a conversation with I'll be with frank. Uh, he's, he's trying to protect you know, situ situations, right? Yeah, yeah, but that's you not know. the way to do it. No, it's not. The way no, you did it is the way to do it, and that's why you're the I'll boss. Have a word with him. Uh, Thank you, sir. You know, he's he's a he's an emotional man, but he's, I can he's, tell. But he's he's good, and he watches our backs, maybe a little too much. I, that's the. I think that's yeah. all it is. I think he had your business okay. out for uh, the best of his interest. It's just no. the that's community also has to a, be involved. That's why I came down for a look before. Let me get a hand you know, shake. before any sort of you know. Authorities are called for no reason. That's it, buddy. I appreciate you, Brian. Well, you, too. Okay. you guys, Stoke just redeemed themselves. Stoke, dude, this is Brian from Stoke, and they are redeemed. Thank you, sir. That was a good move he did there. So, look, we got here a hydroponic store. Here, you got a cannabis, and right next to it's cannabis, three in a row. Then you got Stoke and Medicine Wheel. Yeah. It's taken over. Everything's about weed. The whole block. Everywhere. The whole block. Whole thing. How are you, sir? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Is that? YouTube? Yeah, YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Two of them? Yeah. How's their room smell? <laughs> like a horse. <laughs> like a horse.
these gentlemen stop it for some uh, coffee or something. He's telling you who he's got to call. Wait, I got to call my sergeant. Yeah, <laughs> I got to ask him what to do. <laughs> Still intended, we're just going to be here recording for a little while. Okay, just uh, they just don't want. That's okay. That's actually what I'm recording is that line right there. So, can I ask why? You can, but I can't get into it while we're doing it. Have a look at the back of my jacket and see if that explains something to you. Okay. Does that help out a little bit? Yeah. Voicing some of the concerns on the customers. Well, Explain to them that there's nothing wrong. Okay. That's all. Just let them know what freedom of press is. Some education from you guys would be amazing. Okay. If they okay. do, let them know they have the freedom to do it. There's cameras everywhere in the city. Of course, yeah. And uh, it. just welcome the community to the business that you're running. You know what I mean? A lot. You don't know if one person will see this or a million today. Yeah. So I just, just I welcome it. Because I'm not really sure what the recording was about. But no, you I'm asking. It's more than welcome you coming up and asking. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you, you have a great day. Thank you. The guy spills all the beans. <laughs> I spilt it all on them, huh? Sorry, man. Right. <laughs> Sorry, man. No, I just don't like. I don't like to. I don't know, man. I feel like. No, you know what? If it gets too awkward, it's it's on. I, I feel like I'm being rude, and I, no, it's not what we're thing, here to the do, one right? Thing I say is I can't. I can't explain it while I'm working on it because it'll compromise what I'm working on. Yeah. And that's that's a really good way to put it. Yeah. Say, I'd love to help you. Why don't you come out and ask me in a few minutes? Yeah. Hello. Like, hey then guys. You, then you can say, look, why don't you come out and ask me when I'm done? Yeah. Uh, or if you want, I'll come in and explain to you once I'm finished. That's but, a good answer. But for now, let's, I, I cannot explain to you what, what is happening. That's a good answer. I like it. And I thought long and hard about this. I was just explaining to my, uh, my viewers our viewers that um, I, I love the fact that I work with you. You're one of the politest guys I work with. And we both had reservations about doing this because it's just regular people, but everybody needs to learn their rights. It's true. And sometimes learning is painful, but they can be, they're in control of their feelings, right? Yeah. You know, the way I, the way I see it, if we expect police to uh, respect cameras and stuff like that, and the people aren't even doing it, that's an issue, right? So number one is getting the people to understand what, what freedom of press is, just like she did. Yeah. As soon as she read the, ja the jacket, look at it. Yeah. As soon as she read it, she said, oh, now I get it. Okay, well, Take that's a look good. At the picture on the back. It's a pretty powerful picture. Who are you? Yeah. Excuse me? You're on live, just so you know. That's fine. Right now you're under investigation. I'm putting you under investigation detective. Oh. Do your fucking job. How about I that? am. And I'm warning you. Don't warn me. I'm not your fucking child. 
pull your mask down, tell me your name, and you can walk away, or you can videotape us, that's perfectly fine. But right now, I'm investigating for someone that videotapes us all the time that has two active warrants out. Now, you can tell me your name, or you're What, what are these warrants for? Okay, you're gonna put in handcuffs. Is that familiar? Is that familiar? That's you. Anyways, you can behind your back. I'm being arrested, my people. I don't answer questions. Do your job. Figure it out. Watch yourself, man. Don't so step on my foot. Don't step on my foot. So if you work with us, we can work with I don't work with kids.